Hi, it's Diana, Capadia Designs, and today I'm just going to show you a few of the things I've noticed in the latest update to the Design Studio software. This uh, version that I'm looking at right now is version uh, 1.0.40422.0, and it was um, put up for downloading last Thursday, May 20th. I think most of the changes have to do with the updates that are being made to the Gypsy, but there are a few things that work differently now and that you should know about. Uh, let me just demonstrate. I'm going to start typing in a phrase here, happy birthday. Let's see if I can get my keyboard to work. And you'll notice that um, I've my words have gone completely out of the frame. Uh, it used to bounce you back so that the words would be down here as soon as you ran out of room on your map, but now the software will just let you keep going and going and going, which is both a good thing and a bad thing because you may not um, be able to find your handles. If you have a word that's gone too far like this, just use the arrow keys on your keyboard while it's still selected and it'll slide over and then you can grab the resizing handle and make it smaller again and then use the right arrow key to let it dance back into your frame. Um, so that you can work with it. The important thing to remember is that um, when you start adding new things, uh, you'll notice I clicked on a D, and if you look up here in my Shape Properties box, my X value is 17.156. That means it's way out over there somewhere. So what you want to do to get it back quickly, don't click on the mat, just uh, go up here to the Shape Properties box and put in a zero and then press Enter and now your letter will be back onto your regular mat. You're going to have to get in the habit of checking that Shape Properties box and being careful about where you um, enter your items. Uh, before you start a new grouping, it's probably the best idea to just go ahead and double click to bring your cursor back to the left side of the mat. You know, you can just double click and bring the cursor up. You can also move your cursor around. I'm using my keyboard arrows right now. Um, you'll just want to pay a lot more careful attention to where the cursor is located because of this change to the software. The other thing that uh, is a sign that maybe, maybe grouping is finally going to arrive and make many of us very happy is that there's a new functionality. I have this group of letters together in one box. Let me add this heart over here. Notice once again it went way out to the 17.048 because I forgot to click on my mat so I'm going to put zero there and enter and there's my heart. Um, what's new is I have both of these things on my screen and I can take my mouse and drag it from one point to another point and creating a square and now I can move both of these things around together. I can um, start anywhere on the screen. It doesn't matter where I start. I can make that box pretty much from any direction. If I don't include the whole item though, I will not get them both in the same box. And then one will have handles and one will just have these little bubbles, little tiny dots, but they will move together. They'll also move um, with all the functions of the handles, but they don't stay in the same size um, proportionately so they'll just run into each other. Um, at first I was all excited thinking I could resize some of my welded designs, but it doesn't quite do that yet. While they are selected like that, you can go ahead and uh, turn them, rotate, but they'll both rotate on their own axis, so they bump into each other at certain points. And I noticed something funny. Sometimes they start working independently of each other and you have to click and click and click until you finally get them back in the original orientation. I don't know if I'm going to get there before my time runs out. Um, we've gone pretty much every direction so this seems to be a little glitchy. You can click off and then just go ahead and turn one item around on its own by selecting it the usual way. Another interesting thing is that if you have two items and say I wanted to use this heart, uh, copy and paste it, flip it, slide it over as if I were going to weld them together in a pattern like so. If I draw the box, watch what happens. This one will just jump around and go the same way. So I could do the resizing, um, which doesn't really work, <laughs> um, but I won't end up with the result that I intended. I'll have to split this into two videos, so check back for part two. Thanks for watching.